did so stand. And uh, I just have to ask, what on earth is this beastie that you're stood next to? Well, this is our first fully electronic remote control head. Now, the, head, the Athena is Wi-Fi connected, or as we've got here at the moment, we've got it on the cable. So at least powered at the moment. Yeah. Powered at the moment. So you can have it as a standalone tripod head, which can be either, as we have it here, mounted on an actual tripod, or you can mount it anywhere at all. All you need is the ability to clamp it. So if you're in a military you know, encampment or something, anywhere you want to put a camera that you don't want to put a person, you could hang it up from gantries at race courses. I'm thinking you know, like lion enclosures. Lion like enclosures, that. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, wildlife is a really big avenue for us in this head. So it's very quiet. Uh, where we're running it from an Apple Mac at the moment, and the software that comes up on the computer, you can run uh, multiple heads from. You can preset it so if you're in a wildlife and, you know, environment and you've got different angles of view that you want to capture, at the click of a button the head will just move to that position and you can shoot. Now, using a camera such as the Canon or the Nikon products with the Wi-Fi compatible systems, what you can also do is see the live view uh, or the feed from the shots back on the Mac. So not only can you remotely operate the head, but you can remotely operate the camera and see the images either with live view or the so captured you can choose when to press the shutter. Yes. You know, still, so you're not necessarily working on a, a timed shutter or anything. No, it can be totally live. And you, you can you, watch it live. Do what I want now, click. And it will take, yes. And what's more, you can remotely uh, actually control all these servos. So, I mean, let's just, let's just look at this, because it, it appears to be uh, rotating around the base here. Yes. And uh, presumably this will tilt forwards and backwards from at this point, is this right? That's correct. So you've got um, full control over the, the panorama. Right. You've got control from the tilt angle, but also the so camera will rotate, rotate the portrait. Can you rotate the camera this way? You can indeed, yes. Right. So you really can look in any direction? In any direction. Right. And, and that's all remote control from wireless? All controlled Wi-Fi from the laptop. So this would be great for something like the Olympics? The Olympics will be superb for us. There are going to be lots of camera angles that you can't physically get a person to stand with a camera. a roof full of those. In, It'd you know, be ideal for us. Would, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm imagining almost anywhere. For example, horse jumpers. So, yeah. You know, a dangerous place to put a camera. You know, a couple of those on the roof would really give you a couple of great camera angles. Yeah, we should be able to achieve angles that we've never been able to get before safely. Uh, right. And photographers have always put themselves at risk to try and capture that shot that's a little bit different. Well, yeah. now they can just put this in place from the comfort of their armchair, if you like, or yes, from their laptop. They can control the camera, change the angle, capture the shots. Um, yeah, the limits. How, how precise is this? If you wanted to do something like nighttime shots, tracking the stars, things like that, would that, would that be possible? track stars with it, you know, there's no automatic tracking motion, but what you can do is have presets. So if you if you wanted to, you could even limit the angle of view that could be viewed with it. So if you were on a construction site, using it for recording purposes, you know, watching the building go up, you can have the camera start off with a time lapse and take shots in, in preset places. So it's like it's like a, a time lapse pan. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, that's yeah. okay well that's fascinating. That's what it's the Gitso Athena. Is it? Athena, yes. and we, can we find out more about that on the Gitso website? You can, yeah. It's literally only just been launched, but you'll start seeing more and more on the websites and keep your eyes on, on all the forums for the data. Very exciting stuff. Thank you very much for taking Thank the time you. to show us. This video is an extract from an episode of Photo Walkthrough, an online TV show all about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. If you'd like to see more, head on over to photowalkthrough.com where you can find all the old shows and subscribe to the new ones for free.